that at my desk. As you can see. <laughs> Get a picture, send it to me. Uh, yes, my household is extremely loud. Uh, so if my volume is a little loud, actually, can you hear me without the microphone? Is that all right? Okay, I'm used to yelling. Sit down. That's my first son's name. Or get out of there. Or stop hanging from the you know banister. Those are the names of my children, I think. But, um, so I, I came here today. I noticed there were a lot of cars parked in the far end of the parking lot. So it must be New Year's resolution time of year. Um, and there's a lot of statistics on New Year's resolutions. Did you know that there are 144 million people in the United States today that have a New Year's resolution? 144 million people. Now by the end of the year, only 8% of them will actually complete their New Year's resolution. So they'll actually do that. But even more astonishing, 25% of people actually will fail within the first 30 days. So we're halfway through January. So in a couple of weeks, no more excuses, right? You're gonna have a lot, of, a lot of failures there. But what's the difference between the people, that 8% who get through it? Uh, and that's what I want to talk to you today. I think it's because they have a fast start to the year. They have a fast start to their resolutions. I think this applies to us personally, but it also applies to our businesses and our teams and how we motivate them. Usain Bolt is the fastest man alive. We're going to see him run soon in the Olympics. And you know, when I watched him run, I always thought at the end of the run was what made him great because he was faster than anybody else. And in fact, he says the, the one area where he loses the most speed is out of the gate. So yes, he's the fastest man alive, but he's also the fastest person to start. He's got an Instagram out right now. If you Google it, you can see how much stuff he does in a blink of an eye. Uh, and so what can we do to have a fast start? So take out your notes. I'm gonna give you two things. First thing I want you to do, I want you to draw a circle, okay? Draw a circle. On the top of that circle, write the number one. And on the bottom of that circle, write the number two. There's two things we're gonna do. So the first thing to have a fast start is you gotta have clarity. You gotta have clarity. Now, I don't I didn't say goals, but you gotta have clarity, clear symptoms, okay? That 8% of people have very clear goals. You know, most New Year's resolutions are physical. I wanna lose more weight or uh, I wanna exercise more, I wanna, not eat cheese fries every day. Gosh, those are really good. Uh, but <laughs> the eight percent of people say, "I'm going to lose 20 pounds by the end of the year," and each quarter I lose five pounds. Very clear goals. Uh, my first son Ben, he's seven. Uh, he turns 42 next month. Uh, but he he, uh, he learned to ride a bike this summer, and he, he came up to me and said, "Dad, I want to learn. I want to ride my bike." I want to ride my bike very fast with my friends. I want to ride my bike around the cul-de-sac. I want to know how to brake my bike, right? I don't want to stop, that's pretty good. And uh, some of you know my, my wife, but he is definitely his mother's son, and, but he said, I, I, I want to wear a helmet too. Okay? So safety first, but he had four very clear goals. You know, when I was his age, I said, I just want to ride my bike, okay? So having clear goals are, are really key. Do you have clarity with your goals? whether it's personal, with your business, with your teams. Okay. Second, number two, action. You gotta start doing it. Get going. Then we took his pedals off his bike, and we dropped his seat, and he started scooting. And within 45 minutes, he went on those pedals back on. He was riding his bike. Okay, why? Because he started He started going on his goals, on his clarity <coughs> goals. Uh, you know, when I started, eight years ago down here uh, with senior one care because of my family. Uh, one of the things that I started doing, I had a lot of action. I was out there in every networking event you could possibly meet. I probably had a one-on-one -on -one with almost every one of you in this room within the first six months. Okay, and I was everywhere. I think I was in Ohio at one point. Okay. I, had a, I had a lot of good action, right? I was doing stuff, but I didn't have clarity. And it's really important that you have both. Okay, so if we start with the clarity, you look at your circle, picture that as a wheel because this is the beauty of it. Once you have clarity, you start acting, and all of a sudden, you get more clarity. It's, it's a wheel, and once that wheel starts moving, you're getting off to a fast start. I told you about Ben's four or five goals that he had riding his bike. One of them was not, I want to balance. I want to have balance on my bike. You know, he didn't learn that until he started moving the bike. Had that action. So he 
he actually had more clarity, right? Now he's popping wheelies and riding in the street, and it's it's a crazy town in our neighborhood, right? <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, Jim Rohn is a uh, prolific personal development speaker. He said, "You cannot change the seasons, okay, but you can change yourselves." Okay. Uh, Tommy Richardson, he's a he's our educational director here at Rainmakers. Um, and he's my personal coach. I, I'm very biased towards him. I think he does an unbelievable job. Uh, but I, I listened to him yesterday. He had a quote from John Maxwell. John Maxwell said, uh, you cannot, you can't change, you'll never change your life until you change something you do every day. You can't change your life until you do something. So, so my wish for you is that you have clarity, you get action, and you get off to a fast start because this could be you next year. All right. So thank you so much. I, I appreciate the group. Let's get back to networking. All right.